everybody, welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right, so today I have another one from the Leinen Kugel. Uh, I think it was the winter pack, it's a variety pack. And uh, this one here is Leinen Kugel's Lemon Haze IPA India Pale Ale with natural lemonade flavor, coming in at 4.9% ABV. So I believe they're up in Chippewa Falls. I mean, like I'm trying to look through it all, and there's quite a bit of information here, and I'm pretty sure Chippewa Falls, and this this company, I mean, has a long history. It's actually kind of entertaining too. It's actually worth going and checking out yourself online. I'm pretty sure it's Chippewa Falls. Yeah, I'm still trying to look through here. They had a whole thing through Prohibition. I mean, oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Quite a bit of history. Oh yeah, Chippewa, Chippewa Falls is pretty much what I'm going to say. So, let's see if it says it on the can here. Y'all probably had a better look than I did just a second ago. Yep, Chippewa Falls. What do you know? Jacob Kugel. It ain't the first line of Kugel that I've done, and I should already know this, but hell, it's hard to remember each and every one. Line of Kugel's Lemon Haze IPA is a deliciously balanced hazy IPA that brings together notes of juicy lemons with the citrusy bitterness of American and German hops. Enjoy our bright, citrusy, and refreshing Lemon Haze IPA all year long. The Line of Kugel family. Well, when I went online and looked on their uh, year-round brews and all that, this one's not on there. As a matter of fact, this one's not on the website at all, except for in a little picture in the box where, you know, it has the picture of the, 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 the variety packs. So let's get into it. Oh, whoa. All right. February 13th, 23. So, man, this is about to go bad. We're in February. But it's not fair. Wow. We are right on the due date. Actually, we're past the due date by a few days. I like when they put the canned on date, but this one has a date that's actually just a few days ago, so it just went bad. It's bad. I should pour this out. Yeah, right. I smell limes. Definitely, I smell lime right out of the can. <clears throat> Oh shit. Oh shit. Gonna make a mess. Gonna make a mess. <laughs> I love the hard. The half hard pour. That's what I should call it, huh? Half hard. I don't start off hard. I, I end with a hard, huh? I just ease it in there with the tip and then I just fucking plow the rest of it in. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. So, all right, let's get our technology up in here. Well, that looks pretty hazy, all right? It's a lemon haze, and that looks like a haze. Definitely hazy. Let me stir this old boy in here. And there we go. Let's get the rest of it in there. Yeah. All right. Color wise, that's pretty light in color. That's a beautiful. That's actually I love this. Picturesque. I love drinking these picturesque beers. Um, it's actually darker. I want to say it's a seven on uh, the SRM. I know you see this scale and they put these stupid words under here, but I just go by the numbers. Forget what they say with the gold, amber, and all that crap. It's a seven. I don't think it's amber, but if you want to call it amber, go ahead. Look at that. Wow, creamy, thick looking. That's a very dense, thick head on there. Look at that. Nice. Nice and creamy, too, looking. Frothy. Let's get a nip of it. Mmm. 
lime, orange, malty. Nice. Let's dive in. Salud. Oof. <laughs> lemony. Now the flavor is lemony. I'm not getting a lot of lime or anything. It's not sour. Well, to me it's not sour, but some people, it's like it is with hot foods and stuff, you know? Some people are like, oh, this is spicy as hell until you're like, I don't even taste any spice, or I got friends that are like that. I'm the one going, this is hot as hell. And my friend's like, what are you talking about? This to me is not sour, but I love, I eat lemons and limes and I love sour stuff. So this could be sour to you. But it has a great citrusy, lemony flavor with a good hoppy finish. It's not super hoppy bitter, like soapy bitter. The light body. Mm. Great carbonation, light in the body. Good lemony flavor, this is a good lawnmower beer. This is a good beach beer. This would be a great one to be out on the beach with, for sure. Mm. Eating some uh, fresh caught fish or something like that, you know? You, you, you catch it, pull it in, and eat some fresh sushi on the beach or you fry it up however you like. This would be great with that. So for the grades, on Untapped, this gets a 3.43 out of 12.6 thousand reviews. That's a little lower than I was expecting. Uh, ooh, excuse me. Uh, Beer Advocate gets a 75 out of 100. A little lower than I was expecting, but I can understand it. It's, you know, a mega beer in a sense. Um, an average of 3.11 on the Beer Advocate. But that's only out of 33 reviews. So that's not good for Beer Advocate. Usually they're a little bit more accurate and stuff. I think this isn't bad. It could be a little bit more full body, but it's light in the body. It's got a great lemon flavor. They're hitting their, their flavor profile. So would I buy this one again? I don't know. Probably not. Uh, body coolers aren't expensive. You can get a good 12 pack, I think, for about 20 bucks down here in Florida. So they're not really mega brew prices where they're cheap, but they're not super expensive like some that can be really, really expensive. Um, would I recommend this one? I don't know. Actually, I do kind of like this one because of the lemon. Because I, I like sour and I like lemon stuff. But this one's it's got that lemon flavor without the sour. I might. I definitely drink it again. I think I'm gonna give this one a B plus. Yeah, not too shabby dabby. So I hope y'all enjoy watching this as much as I enjoy making it. If you do, hit like, subscribe, share all that, please. And make sure you hit like on all those other great videos out there from uh, reviewers on Beer Reviewers United on Facebook. Great reviewers leaving their reviews, and make sure you watch them, hit like, and all that. Support the beer reviewing community, and go ahead and crack one open and try your hand at giving a review. It's drinking beer. Till next time, y'all. Salud.